All right, guys. With that down, let's move on to our next topic here, shall we? Paris, what do we got up next? All right. So the last few weeks, we've been talking about the incredible success of the newest Pixar film, Inside Out 2, which has rapidly become one of the biggest box office hits of all time. Well, now the film has achieved another amazing milestone. According to The Hollywood Reporter, on Wednesday, Inside Out 2 passed up Incredibles 2, $1.242 billion to become the top grossing Pixar title of all time at the worldwide box office, the GOAT. So John, is this milestone a big deal for Inside Out 2? It's an incredibly big deal, but not for the reasons people think. Okay, so for the reason that everybody does think, and it is, this is an important reason. When you think about Pixar, you think about Toy Story and Monsters, Inc. And dare I say, Ant's Life or uh, Bugs, Bugs Life, Life, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Ant's is the other one. Or you think about Up or Wally, -E or Ratatouille or The Incredibles or on and on and on. You talk about some of the all-time greatest animated films ever. And now this one has topped them all. This movie is now in one of the most celebrated movie franchises ever, Pixar, the Pixar brand. This movie that just came out has topped, just past the final hurdle, the, the, the Incredibles movie, to become the number one box office film of all time out of that brand. Again, names like Coco, Wall-E, Up, Ratatouille, the Incredibles, Toy Story, yada, 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 on and on and on and on. And this movie just became the king of the hill of all of them. That is very significant. That's huge. Absolutely. But there's another reason why I think this is a really massive deal. And that is this. It's when this happened. It was not long ago. It's a matter of months. We can count it in months. That everybody, some with joy, were screaming and proclaiming Pixar was dead. What? Remember that? Yep. Yeah, Lightyear came out and, you know, stuff like that. The Pixar was it. And were they having their struggles? Absolutely, they were. And then Elemental came out. By the way, again, if you haven't seen Elemental, watch Elemental. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful film. But, you know, it came out, super struggled at first, had a very small opening weekend. Everybody wrote it off, but then word of mouth got out, made about a half a billion dollars. But still, nobody believed it anymore. Everybody thought Disney was dead. Everybody thought Pixar was dead. And then out of nowhere comes Inside Out 2 to not just be successful and not just be a big hit, to become the biggest they've ever had in their storied history. I think it is significant of the when this has happened. It's happening when everybody had written Pixar off and said Pixar was dead. But here's the other significant thing about the when. This now, the 23rd, as of this moment, it's going to climb higher, the 23rd biggest film in cinematic history, the fifth biggest animated film in cinematic history, the number one biggest film in Pixar history, this $1.25 billion film just happened when everybody said the box office was dead. This is significant. It's not like this came out in a year when five other films hit a billion dollar mark, right? This $1.25 billion juggernaut is happening in the midst of when everybody said the box office was dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's dead. Why? Because, well, Furiosa fell on its face. And it did. Even though I love the movie, it fell on its face. Fall Guy fell on its face. It did. I love that movie, but it flopped. Totally did. But it's in the midst of all these conversations and everybody's saying that the box office is dead. Everything, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. Inside Out 2 came along. Made $1.25 billion, Might get to $1.3 billion. Became the number one Pixar box office film of all time. So yes, it is significant that it's become the number one of this storied Hall of Fame list of films like Coco and Toy Story and in, in the original Inside Out and, and what have you. Yes, number one Pixar all time is significant. But I think even more significant is the when. Because it happened when people were saying Pixar was dead. And it happened when people said the box office was dead. 
And for that reason, I think it's incredibly significant. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen now. As we start mortaring towards, we are two weeks away from Deadpool. Uh, we got some other big films coming out this year. We were seeing, I actually read another article the other day that said the third quarter of this year could be the biggest quarter in box office history. But I, 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 whether or not that's true, I didn't read it in depth. We'll see. But we want to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Better Help. You know, guys, it's one of the most unfortunate human tendencies that we have to try to compare our life to others. And social media plays a big part of that. Comparison is like the thief of joy, and it's easy to envy other people's lives because it, on the surface, it might look like they have it all together on their Instagram or YouTube, but in reality, they probably don't. Therapy can help you focus on what you want instead of what others have so you can start living your best life. Give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. So get it off your chest with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash campia today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash campia. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I, I mean, it's nothing we should sneeze at. Inside Out 2 just became the biggest hit in Pixar history in a very awkward time when people said well, Pixar was dead and that the movie box office business was dead. Whatever you guys think about this, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.